Hi, I'm Radu Popescu. In this video, I'm going to talk about SQL Server Express prerequisite silent installation. Start by creating an enterprise installer project. From the left pane, go to the prerequisite section under Requirements. Select SQL Server Express from the list. Make sure you don't choose the web installer. When prompt, click Yes. This step makes sure that the prerequisite is included in the package so it can be installed offline. Wait until the download is finished. Once the prerequisite is downloaded, check your project location and make sure that it is listed under the pre-installed folder of the prerequisites. Now we can configure the settings to ensure a fully silent installation of the main installer package when triggered with the silent parameters. From the Setup Files tab, focus on the Install command lines. The trick here is to pass the parameters to the SQL Setup. You must use the same parameters for Full UI, Basic UI and Silent. So when the main installer package is called, whether you pass the silent parameters or not, it will trigger the SQL Server Express using the same parameters declared in the Install command lines. Now let's take a look at what the command line should look like. SQL Server is a self-extracting executable. These first parameters show where it should extract the files. This was a known issue of the previous version of SQL Server Express. Without passing this argument, it will always ask for the location where you want the setup to be extracted. Next, the QS parameter controls the display level. The rest parameters are used to pre-configure the SQL Server. Make sure you replace computer name, domain name, username and password with your values. In the end, this is how install command lines should look like in your advanced installer project. Now save and build your project. The main setup can then be triggered with the silent parameters that advanced installer accepts. Windows installer parameters are also accepted. This way, your application package can easily be integrated in configuration management tools such as Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Now let's trigger the installation. As you can see, there's no input required from our side. Wait until the setup finishes installing. As you can see, the SQL Server has been successfully installed on our machine. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and also the Advanced Installer blog.